Hello everyone, I am Will, and welcome back to my playthrough of Elden Ring. Uh, last we left off, we just explored a little bit of the Orthus Plateau in front of the Dectus Lift. Um, I think we started here into the Lux Ruins. Ruins. Uh, there's a demi-human queen in the basement that we've destroyed. But did that, made our way this way, cleared out this little encampment up here, took on not Godric. <laughs> Apparently he's Godfroy. But it's basically a phase one Godric the Grafted in here. Took care of him, got the Radigan's icon, which will be useful probably at various points. Made our way this way, took out this big encampment here. I think there's some omens over here. Did some talking, killed the Knight's Cav of Calvary. Went up this way, met Brother Corn. Because this is where he goes, I think about here. We can see all this plateau. Had our fingers red, bought a bunch of stuff, found Gold Mask, and then we told Corn about him. So, then we bought a bunch of incantations from him, so. And that's basically all I did. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. I didn't do anything between episodes. So our stats, equipment's basically the same. Although I will start off with the cross Nagi Nadi here, just to start off. Because I do remember the NPC over that way, here at the Shaded Castle. I will take care of him, so I can check him off my list. And after that, we'll make our way to this church, because there's another invasion here. And then we'll probably hop down and do this whole thing. Yep. That, that's the plan. Whether we do that all is questionable, but well, that's the plan. All right. Let's get going. Don't care about you guys. Bunch of slugs. Do I have to kick air of these Mirandas? I don't want to fight the Mirandas. Let's try to avoid them if we can. Well, this big one will probably aggro. Yep, there he goes. Oh, they both did, okay. Don't know if I came over this way. Yes, the back entrance into the uh, Shaded Castle, if you want to get up that way. Mushrooms. That's a little star gazer thing over there. Okay, so it looks like we didn't come back here. There's a bunch of materials. Just gotta check the corners. Light shard. Right. So there is an NPC and a golem. Let's see if we can spot the. There he is. That's the hostile NPC. Looks like he has an incantation in his hand, or a seal in his hand. And that's the golem. We are going to use the golem to help. We're going to throw some crystal darts at it. Hopefully, he'll do most of the work, but I doubt it. There we go. We 
just gonna sit there. Okay, so you're just gonna sit there. Okay. There it goes. Now he's on our side, so hopefully he'll uh, help out a little bit. <laughs> it will wear off eventually, so you have to reapply it every now and then. Yep, there it goes. about what 10 or so Let's get away from the golem come on golem you got it no get him Threads. <laughs> Even a rapier, mask, and robe. Ow. Yeah. Pest threads have excellent tracking, so even if the enemy has a dodge AI, you're most likely gonna chip them with one or two threads, so it's very useful. Right. Although the only downside is they don't last very long, so, and so it, its range is pretty short, shorter than you expect. What are these statues of Azura or something? I have to put up the a side by side. <laughs> Although I think her the hands are raised differently. Alright. Okay. Well, there's the NPC. Oh, there's an item over here. Get your crystal darts, get the golem to fight. And easy peasy. All right, that takes takes care of this. To get here, um, actually we'll go here. See what this is all about. I think there's like a, a drop down here than there. So let's see what that's about. We want to keep the crawler? Yeah. Let's go with Antsper Rapier. And the spur of a giant ant that has been fashioned into a rapier. Drips with scarlet rot. Yep, it has innate rot, rot buildup. We'll probably play around with it here and there, but. We'll see. Yeah, we'll take out these patrols.
<laughs> oh no. Okay, so you can see it during the day. Okay. I thought you could only see it at night, otherwise it'd turn it invisible, but... So I guess you can see it during the day. Oh, good to know. Guys drops spithing stone fives. Okay, it's good to know. And yep, and now basic soldiers now have additional attacks, as you saw. A little perfume, little spray you did. You also can do uh, what? Determination, I think. Oh, you can see a bunch of worn faces. Okay. Uh, I don't know if we can drop down from up here. We'll keep going. Is this, could this be a spot? Mm, I don't think so. Yeah, it's probably best to drop down from over there. Okay. spot. Yeah. All right. Hmm. Purple flowers. Interesting. Hmm. Ooh. Again, one at a time. And these ones do bleed. You look like a big one. Sword Monument. A whole bunch of purple flowers. Hmm. Check out that monument here in a moment. I just want to explore it a bit more. Okay, so there's the big encampment. Okay. Just trying to get an idea of where we are. That way leads to the little valley we took to get to the Shaded Castle. Alright, Monument, what do you say? First Defense of Lindell, a sovereign alliance rots from within. Traces yet remain of bloody conspiracy. Sovereign alliance rots from within. Yura, and a bunch of golden leaves. Oh, more dogs. It's probably best to get rid of the dogs first. Is this too high up? I, I think so. We'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll, we'll try. Right, rainbow stone. What do you say? All right, we're safe. Cool. All right, stay away from the church. Clear, clear out the dogs. Go. Cool. This is 
butterflies. All right, nothing back here. I saw one more dog. There he is. Invasion, so good luck to us. Uh, hmm. We'll need stamina for sure. See what happens. Yes, I don't think it happens until we talk to Yura. Tear. Yura, what's wrong? Eleonora. It seems I am no match for you, but I've learned. A thing or two myself. You see, I've sliced the finger off. Please. Please. Eleonora. Yield to the cisplant no longer. Do not stain the immaculacy of your soul. Coming. Bloody finger hero. Oh, I thought it was Dragon Ball. Get out of the corner. Violet, 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 Bloody Finger, Purifying Crystal Tear, and her Pole Blade. <laughs> yes, yeah, I keep forgetting she doesn't use Dragon Maw. She uses Dragon Flame and Grail's Roar. We got the job done. Purifying Crystal Tear is going to be handy later on. Much later on. Oh, you're, uh... but... Okay, those were more phrases than here. Purifying tears for boss fight way down the line. Her pole blade is actually pretty good. Although we need a lot of arcane to make it work. Yeah. And it's it's weapon artist. Does a ton of stance damage if you can get hit if you get all of it hit hit. Her mastery of the sword was such that her onslaught was likened to a whirlwind. And now her legacy is stained by a cursed blood. Yeah. Well, we can do the weapon art, but it's like... It's... Do I have to hit it multiple times? Yes. I think it's multiple L2s. I think that's it. Yep. 
that's it. Pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Then we got the Nagakiba. Yep. Ferociously long blade. The Bloody Finger Hunter. That's the katana, or uchi katana. And that's the nagakiba. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it's little scabbard goes into the ground. That's how long it is. <laughs> if there was a way to hide the scabbards, I would use it more often, but... Eh. So let's put this back on. Take care of that. We'll see what's over here. And then we'll go down. So I've got a bunch of wolves, a bunch of graves. It's getting dark. Cool. Uh, plan to get a flask recharge here, so might as well just top off. down to the old Altus tunnel which I might actually do before we go over there Take us up this way. Okay. Which I th think is where we need to find our. There's an invader, or there's a, a invasion spot. I think it's up here in this little area here. That will help us advance Vari's quest line. I mean, he's pretty tough, but we'll hold off. It's not a priority right now. All right, do I see anything? Nope. Cool. All right, so I think we'll just fast travel to the tunnel. Yeah, we'll just fast travel to this tunnel. We'll clear it out. Old Altus Tunnel. Not quite sure what's in here, so... Here, so now we're at plus nine. Put stuff away. Uh, hmm, I'm gonna have to upgrade that. Put that away because I'm not gonna use it. Put that away. This, oh, this, uh, this increases arcane. So that's, yep. House 
Marius. Customly worn by head of house member Marius. Alright. Just wanna take that off. Okay, I think we're okay. Becomes really bright. Okay. Boom barrels. Oh, I think I know what's in here. Okay. I think there's a stone dick stone digger troll at the end. Functional. Smithy stone fives. Stone diggers over there. Ladder up. Hmm. Soldiers and a knight. Heading in there. A dog right there. I can't get your attention. I thought there was a point of impact. I want to try something. Oh. So if we did this. Never mind. They don't care until Mind. Just an idea. I was hoping to get their attention so that I can hit them with the boom barrels, but they don't care. Useful. There's an item up in there, and there's a dog. There's two things in there. Two dogs. Drake Talisman. Very useful for the capital. It'll actually be very useful against Lancey Axe, I should say. Probably best to drop down from here. All right, there's another knight. Will you listen to this?
<laughs> Oops. Oh, come on. FromSoft, you need to work on your... Uh, See me. You don't see me. Back back to your patrol. Anybody else want to come out? Ooh, dogs. Hammer, colossal weapon, I won't be using. Let's get stone five. What's the skill on it? Trolls roar, okay. It does have innate fire on it, too. Yeah, because trolls are descent from the giants who, uh, I believe, worship the fell flame, but. Or the. Fell god flame, or whatever. Sombra stone sticks, we'll always take it. Let's see. You are Sombra 4, we'll take it. Uh, is it this way? Or is this just a empty room? It's just another room. Five and six in here, so that's a good place to get some somber stones. So that was just a dead end, which means this is the way forward. Yep, here we are. Okay. Get ready while the thing's going. Uh, what weapon do I want? Hmm. Let's stick with the. Uh, let's try the flamberge. Flamberge. Good. Just gonna wait for my FP to tick up. Oh, I forgot about Blessing Boom. <laughs> my bad. So we'll change this out, we'll put on that, because I know it's gonna hurt. We don't probably won't be needing Oleg, but if I'm quick enough, I can throw a fire pot. 
Hopefully blow everything up. Drink. Blood balloon. Take a turtleneck. Let's go. Aha, it worked. <laughs> I was not expecting it to work that well. <laughs> and we got the Giants Club. <laughs> uh, I honestly thought I was going to miss this and hopefully and have like a fight on my hands, but I didn't actually think it worked. Old tunnel done. Which means we need to make our way into here. Um, quickest way would probably just. No, that's too high. Mm, I'm trying to think. It might be come out here. There's some spirit springs that we could probably hop over. Let's see if that will work. Club. Innate holy damage. Golden land. This is Ash of War. An enormous club of hardwood. Phrasing. <laughs> yep. Da da da. Weapon. Da, da, da. Well, it may be seeming seem sacrilegious. This weapon is said to be a withered branch of the Earth Tree. Imbued with holy power, this weapon will never snap. Yep. Thirty-five strength. No thanks. All right, so let's slap it into the little bottomless box. All right, we'll get our uh, halo sight back out. All right, let's go. Trolls. So, assuming there was a cart that they were pulling that's no longer here. Turn to something. No. Good. Okay. There's a spirit spring. Oh, there's an item up there. Let's just explore this little area because we did run by it pretty quickly. that way to the shaded castle so we just ran by all this which to be honest there isn't much just oh i'm hearing the uh, foreign faces it's not much some nobles some trolls a rune This spirit spring to hop down. Or I think we just can just hop down here. Okay, we just hop down here. Right. And now we'll continue on foot. It's just easier for me to respond to things if I'm on foot. Yeah. 
faces. I hate them. Nicholas Lilies and a nascent butterfly. Let's just get our boluses on hand just in case. Touch him, okay. Oh. So they don't, they always appear? Wow, okay. Yeah, those things are needed for the, uh, the tower here. Yeah, right here. This is the tower here, Mirage Tower, Mirage Rise. Touch this. Touch three Phantom Crests. Yeah. One here, the one back there, and there's one that way. Uh, over here, I think. But you can, if you know where they are, you can just go and touch them. So I guess. I thought they would only show up once you interacted with the little statue thing. Excuse me, sir. Gonna sit there and spew. Really? So all you're gonna do is sit there and spew. Or are you like stuck, stuck? Might have been stuck, stuck. <laughs> okay. Golden rune, cool. Much more worm faces, not cool. <sighs> Let's avoid them until we can get a grace. I don't feel like running back here. Speaking of grace, one right over there. Alright. Well, actually, can I get separate you guys? They're resistant to holy, so I'm pretty sure Halocyte's not going to help us. Let's get our katana out. Yeah, because when when Halocyte's little uh, Mikla's ring isn't doing any much, it's like, uh, I don't know, probably should not be using it.
We'll touch Grace and then we'll go back that way. Alright, now we have Grace. Don't have to worry about Death Blight. But we still have to worry about Death Blight, which is. We'll have to worry about a run back. I'm actually going to check out what's up here first. Sacramental blood. Bud. This takes us out. And takes us up here. Cool. Is there anything up here? Glowing skull. I don't see anything. Alright, I don't see anything. Oop. Bacteria leaf. We'll always take them. So head back down. I know it disappeared, but... Alright. Don't worry if it disappeared. A quit and reload will should bring it back. Again, so we'll go this way. Yeah, we'll go up this way. Because according to the Mirage Rise map. Third stone should be up here somewhere. Don't worry about the imps, they're just gonna keep respawning. Aha! Uh -huh. Look for the glowing rock. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky! And that should be the third one. So hopefully if we go back, it should be there. now appeared. Okay, so you can touch the little mirage things to get this to appear without without interacting with that. So. Always check the always check the corners. Uh, 
Unseen Blade and Unseen Form. As well as Slumbering Eggs. Hmm. Unseen Form makes the character semi-transparent. Although you will make noise, but... Selian assassins considered every option that aided their dirty work. One of the night sorceries. And unseen blade. Does not work on... Count as a... Uh, unseen blade counts as a weapon buff. So if your weapon can be infused or buffed with like greases and stuff, then it will work. Otherwise, no, it won't. Which means most unique weapons can't be buffed. Um, any weapon that has a elemental infusion can't be buffed. So that illuminates a lot of things. Right. So hit that. Do I want to go this way? Or do I want to go this way? I would go clockwise. bunch of worm faces. Nicholas Uli. Okay. Jump up. Let's try to get the lay of the land before we actually go in. There's two at least. Three. You can get one at a time. A nascent butterfly. <clears throat> hmm. I wonder how much stance they have. Pretty sure they're weak to slash, but wait—they dropped sacrificial twig. 
What? <laughs> Wait, so you can like farm these guys for those twigs? Wow. Just, just wow. It's a bit too slow for them. I hear a third one to my left somewhere. Probably that over there. Alright. So they have about 60 stance. Okay, that's good to know. They have about 60... Hmm. Gonna do something crazy. <laughs> oh, soldiers. Regular old soldiers. Okay. So if they have about 60 stance, then... Right, I need a worm face to test this out. Oop. Slugs. Okay. Thank you for the charge. Alright, so that's actually a field boss right over there through the trees. That's a giant worm face. So we need to avoid him for now. So you're alone, cool. You're my guinea pig. Stamp uppercut and an R1 should break your stance. Okay, it does not. Never mind. Never mind, it did not. Think there's stuff up there? I think so. So we have to get it from the uh, the grace up there. But All right. To be honest, I believe the best time to explore this area is at night. <laughs> I think it's the most, provides the best ambiance is at night. Only saving grace is that this is a big open area. That 
that's the only saving grace. <laughs> we have a lot of room to avoid the little spits. Blech. All right, where are we? We want to go this way. Probably end it soon. I think there's a grace up here, I believe. Or is it over there? No, it's actually up here. Okay, never mind. Anything over here? I do not see anything. Okay, I don't see anything. Do, 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 do. We'll go that way after we take care of this guy. I think there's a spirit spring we can take to get us to that grace up there. But I'm trying to remember if it's back here. Got some decent butterflies. Yep, there it is. Okay, we can take that spirit spring to up here, where I, I know there's a grace in here somewhere. That I'm pretty sure. Spat on by the slugs raises our equip load. One stage. Yes, we're now fat rolling. Good. Good. Although, if we did this, will it come off? No, it will not. Okay, never mind. That was that's a mechanic you shouldn't implement from soft. Get spat on by the slugs. Soap should wash it off. All right. Um, just double checking. You survived. Thought you were glowing. All right. We'll go hit up the grace up here and then I'll call it an episode. Is... No, I want it over here. So it should be right in here. I'm not going to rest because I don't want to respawn all the enemies, so. But I'm going to call an episode right here. Um, basically explored more of all this plateau. Did the Eleonora, well, finished off Bureau's quest line at the Second Church America. Got invaded by Bloody Finger Eleonora. Took care of her, got her bow blade, the purifying blood tear, which will be useful much later on. After that, we went to the old Altus Tunnel, laid smack down on a Stone Digger Troll, which went far better than I anticipated, but it worked, it worked. And then we went to Wormface Land, 
this whole area. We have like maybe half of it done. There's a whole bunch more, like there's all of this to do. As well as this tunnel at the end and a field boss right in here. We saw it, we glimpsed at it earlier through the trees, but it's still there. Um, yep. But that's that's basically all we did. And next episode I'm just gonna continue where we left off. Jump back down and go this way. Or should I just follow the road this way back down? Yeah, I'll probably do that instead. Probably do this and back down. Yeah, okay. That's the plan. So, I'll close it here. And I thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.